And hello, everybody. Let's see, is everything working? It should be. Hi there. I'm wearing pink. Anyway, how is everyone doing? We are going into Advance Wars 2. In Reboot Camp, at least. I'm going through the game uh, more leisurely than I thought I would be, but I just love going through this game. It's a great game. A wonderful game. A glorious game. One of the best of games. And now there's another continent. <laughs> Hawk, come forth. Let's see, what was it? Wars World? Uh, Macro Land? Yes, Lord Stern. There we go. We, we get Hawk now. Uh, should I actually do a voice for this? <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna do a voice for for this game. Uh, I have too much fun playing it to do a voice for it. <laughs> uh. And our objective is clear. Yes. Just have it say yes instead of is it not on that. <laughs> yes, my lord. There we go. Wars war. <laughs> God, they have they go with such stupid names for all the places. Uh. There we go. No, not here, it was a different continent. There we go. Failed. Sturm failed. You should have been more aggressive. That Cosmoland is such a stupid name too. There we go. Uh, you know, it would also be good for, uh, for you to make them fight each other as well. Yes. There you go. Huzzah. Kill the locals, take all their stuff. Hawk, That's the black hole strategy. Do not fail me. Never, my lord. Yeah, that's a lie. He fails. He fails the least out of all of them, though. Black fails the hardest. There we go. Black. I want it to be the original. Hey, or Sammy. hard mode. No hard mode would be good too. Huh, Andy, Max, thanks for coming so quickly. You're not gonna believe this, but the Black Hole Army's back. Yeah, no, they'll believe you. You gotta be kidding! Didn't they learn their lesson the last time? Okay, is there more voices? Yeah. Okay, nope, they, they don't have full voices right now. Just two lines of full voices and I was getting spoiled. There you go. There we go. Got it, Andy. Thank you. Now then, uh, let, let's go and, uh, uh, wait, do we have to do the tutorial again? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the tutorial again, aren't I? Really? Got you twerp. He, he doesn't know what an so. airport is. And he is calling him dumb. That, All right, knock it off, you two. Yeah. All right, let's do this. There you go. Let's do this. Attacking everybody. Everyone's being attacked. Yeah, it, it's a mistake to attack everyone all at once. You, you target one. Uh, yeah, it is. It's good for morale to be excited. Wait a sec, Andy. Andy! There you go. More voicing. More voicing. But yeah. Uh, Max is the one who should be diving in. No one else should be diving in. Eh. You, there's apparently multiple continents. You could always wait for reinforcements. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, we're going to do...
There's a flag for hey, field train, just of course. This? Why aren't those orange star lines broken yet? There you go. I'm sorry, the the uh, bottom of the bottom tier, black. There you go. You don't hear so good. Yeah, ask for victory, not excuses. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. Come on, uh. Yeah. You think he cares? New? What? No! Andy's not a new CO. He's a child soldier. How long until Max lies to us and tells us that he's actually a tough CO? There we go. More ding. Commander. There you go. No. Andy. Uh, there's no need to apologize. You're going to win. I mean, come on now. Two infantry against it. Like, like, just settle down. You know, Nah. Well, actually, Andy has improved a lot since the previous game. His hyper upgrade is actually really good. Uh, restores 5 HP and adds an extra move. I mean, it, it's really good. That... Yes, ma'am. There we go. Let's let's do this. Come on, now it's time for tutorial again. No. Yeah, it's, it's not his first war. He may be a child soldier, but uh, he's a soldier. <laughs> there you go. She is a tough lady. And uh, he can't win with these sad, sad grunts. Uh. Yep, another CL. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Smashing. Beat him up! That was sad, Andy. Yep. To be expected. So yeah, if I remember Flak's ability, uh, it's basically null but bad because he also gets a bad luck risk. Which is what makes uh, him just so terrible. I mean, come on now. Giving him bad luck? Like, why? I mean, there has to be a bottom tier, I suppose. You can't have all of the CO's balanced. Huh. Yeah, I, I can see that. It builds up based on money value. But yeah, with Andy, you never want to use his normal power. His normal power is terrible. What you want to always use is his super. His super is just really good. And I will say, I do like uh, Advance Wars 2 uh, power system more. It is 
far and away better than uh, Advance Wars 1. It's easier to understand how the charge works, like uh, with the Advance Wars 1, it was it's based on the same thing, the money value of the units destroyed, but there's only three different scales. If I remember right, Andy is the cheapest scale. And the like, Eagle and Sturm are like the most expensive scale, which, okay, fair. Although, Sturm's uh, should be more expensive, but, you know, only three tiers. Shoot him! Oh yeah, this level is... I mean, it's a tutorial level. What, what do you expect? Difficulty? No. If you expect difficulty, that's a really big insult on me. That's like saying you expect me to fail a tutorial. I'm not a games journalist playing Cuphead. I, I know how to play video games. But yeah, you don't really get to face any real difficult missions against Black. Which, I mean, yeah, obviously, but part of me still wishes you got something difficult with him. Huh? Yes, it is, Black. You're a bad CO. Is actually taking the APC? Okay. There we go. Kill them. Kill every last one of them, man. Also, Black Hole has hover artillery. Oh. <laughs> All right, you villain types. <laughs> there you go. Orange Star Army. Fantastic, Andy. You achieved victory. <laughs> Lip. There we go. Andy's aware that it was easy. Yes. I mean, if that's a taste, it's going to be pretty mild. That's just a taste of my skill. It'd be sad if I did worse than that. So yeah, basically, uh, Andy, Sammy, and Max mission first, and then it's going to be actual missions. Okay, it's this. Okay, I, I was wondering if it would be, like, different in some way, but no. It it's still the normal nonsense. So yep, Sammy next. There we go. And then it's, uh, Max against Flack, which is just gorilla on gorilla action. Is that all they got? But yeah, in uh, Advance Wars 2, they nerf Max a lot. Like, you used to get like a 50% bonus, now I think it's like 30 or 40, I don't remember. I mean, he's still broken. But he's not nearly as broken as he was before. Born Star CEOs. I'd be tougher. Yeah, I don't believe Flack when he says that. Like, I really don't. I think I have no idea who he's fought before. I just don't believe that he's fought anyone that was actually good in one. And I question the skill of the local forces if they lost the flak in any way, shape, or form. There we go. 
Yep, they're, they're in a rural area. There we go. Here we go, come on. Go and start shooting. Nice. <laughs> there you go, Nell is here. Mm -hmm. Tracking down the people who invaded. And now Sam is gonna sure. take care of things. You, you don't need advice. Do you need me to explain? No, yes. I've, I've done the tutorial already. Yep, there we go. Nope. Okay, there you go. Sammy explained it quickly. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Alright, that's the one downside of all of this. Uh, I get to go through the tutorial twice. But yeah, this mission is basically hold the choke point, blow, sh blow shit up. Lord Flack. Huh? There we go. Listen up, you goons. There we go. Yes, I like his view on looting. It's how I participate in all of my peaceful projects. They're usually a bit fiery too. There you go. Okay, he's just flat out saying, oh, yeah, it takes two days for you to capture stuff. Right, I forgot that they have people behind us. My fault for forgetting that. There we go. Take it. But yeah, I just completely forgot about uh, some of the nonsense they have on this map. There we go. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Start shoot. That's what I do too. Kill that guy. You can do it, your Sammy Mech. I throw you at a medium tank. But yeah, with this mission, uh, there's a few ways you can beat it. I just forgot a couple of things because I'm stupid and forgetful. For instance, that rocket should be at full health right now, but I just completely forgot that, that, you know, stuff happens. Go shoot at him. Like you should. You should always shoot at the enemy. 
you're not shooting at the enemy, then you might as well be naked. shooting at me devastating loss for flack he got his bad luck roll on that one huh? partial I'm not going to go yet there we go yeah I know super CO power Understood. I know what that is Let's destroy Flack and all of his goons. But yeah, Sammy's uh, super is really good. Victory March. Basically lets you capture any building in one turn, no matter what your uh, infantry or max health is at. And I'm going to have an infantry go around over here, and I'm going to have it uh, just take a straight shot. I think it gives uh, two moves. I need to actually check. Yeah, plus two move. Yeah. But yeah, I can use that and I can take her uh, HQ in one turn. Now let's keep going and destroy Flack and his forces. Alright, so I think that makes it 30-20, uh, I think? It's hard to remember. But that could potentially destroy my tank, depending on his luck rolls. Yep, his luck rolls were good. In fact, his luck rolls were actually, I think, perfect there. It is one of the things the computer does. It does cheat on its luck rolls, because it knows what its luck is going to be beforehand. Obviously, it's a computer. But yeah, let's actually look at uh, his luck. So yeah, it's a minus 10 or plus 15. It's more like a minus 10 or plus 25. Because he also has the baseline plus 10 luck. And with his uh, power, yeah, it's plus 40 or minus 20. Which is a pretty big deal. Everyone's retreating. Devastating. And black hole is better than me. 
Yeah, it would be easier if I had my damn tank. Come on now. Okay, good. He does have artillery. That's annoying. Yeah, that's gonna actually take out my... Damn it. <laughs> I'm actually doing poorly on the tutorial. I just had really bad barbaric blow rolls. <laughs> just really bad barbaric blow rolls. The worst barbaric blow rolls. Kill him. Kill him, Sam. Okay, yeah, that, that was gonna happen. And they're at 10 already. There you go. Sack the rocket. That should give me enough uh, charge so that I can actually just uh, capture the HQ. That really that didn't, didn't give me enough. That's disappointing. on that map. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, he is a common thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you shut your trap? There we go. Hey, wait. Chad Flack. How is that worse? He invaded and tried to kill people. There we go. Chalk another one up for Sammy. Yeah, that one was bad. Not taking things serious. Ah oh, well, whatever. Let's keep going. Let's try to liberate Orange Star in one day. 
Alright, now it's max. Microphone. What's all the racket, buddy? You lonely or something? Huh? There you go. Like, why, why can't we have more talking full dog. voice things? A talking dog. Yep. Uh. Really? They're calling them dogs now? In the original game, it was Gorilla. Yeah, it was Gorilla, originally. Why is it Dog now? Gorilla was way, made way more sense because of how massive these two guys are. They aren't taking it somewhere racial, are they? They're taking it somewhere racial because Monkey was used to be used as a slur. It's really kind of stupid because they're both white. Like, if one of them were black, then I'd understand not wanting to use it, but they're both white. Well, Flack might be Asian, they can't really tell. Don't get to see his eyes. Let's do this! I preferred Gorilla over Dog. Gorilla was way better. But yeah, in the original game, I, I could have sworn that they used, uh... That they referred to each other as Gorillas instead of Dogs. Baby was still there, though. There you go. Yeah, calm down, Max. You'll be okay. Yeah, come on now. Yep, there we go. Yes. Stop being angry. Let's right. just go and attack them. Huh. Yeah, it, it hasn't been that long. A neo tank. Yeah, no, I don't need that. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I think. Wait, is Max's air units in this game better or worse than Eagles? I can't remember now. Yeah, he, he does have it. No. Let's do it. Yeah, come on now. You'll be fine. His missiles are in range. Of, uh. Yeah. His range is time. Yeah, there we go. I know. Come on now. Just, you, you can remind Max, just don't remind me. <laughs> Yep, pick the wrong country. There you go. Take out that guy. There you go. But yeah, Max's uh, units are just great. Uh, let's uh, actually look at his uh, like So yeah in Advance Wars 2 his uh, his buff is a lot uh, weaker His debuff is also a bit more they do even less damage and they still have the minus one range How to beat this one quickly it's basically an HQ cap There you go and thus, Black's Air Force is irrelevant. But yeah, Advance Wars 1 Max would have killed that copter. No question. I think Flex bald, so I'd say Max is more handsome.
There we go. Put himself into attack range. To shoot at him. Because shooting at people is always the answer to all your problems. Disagree? Well then, I can solve that problem too. Murder. Did I put him down too early? Why think when you can fight? Brute force. So what's the roll gonna be? How much bad luck do I get? That's quite a bit of bad luck. Anywhere between 40 and nothing. There we go. That was a bad luck roll there. <laughs> Why shoot at the enemy? I don't think Clack knows when the equator is. You got a really good luck roll on my tank. There we go. And the fight is over. Max, you don't get any style points. I'm not using your power. Huh. Gorilla Man, not Dog Man. I do like that they voice the psh. There you go. Yeah, that, that, that that's copium. Flack is huffing copium. Maximum dumb. Yeah, that... Just for treating. Treat! I mean, who cares about the rudeness they're invading? But there we go. Flack, was it? Dumb name for such a tough CO. Yeah, that's a lie. It is a dumb name, and not a tough CO. Bottom tier. Max is lying to us about the competence of his enemies. There we go. Thank you, Hatchy. You're a saint. And I want some tea. Oh, that's nice. Soothing green tea. But yeah, we're gonna go through all of these. Every last one of them. So, let's see. Let's go with the... Uh, we'll, go, we'll go in order. 
Go with four, then five, then six. <laughs> yep, there you go. Uh, it's okay to use troops for personal vendettas as long as you kill the enemy. What was that worm? Yep, yep. You don't be having the battlefield, you kill. Yeah, there you yes, go. <laughs> Maximum dumb is... Yeah, that, that is a pretty bad insult. Gorilla Man was way better. There we go. Under attack. There you go. Yeah, infantry against planes doesn't work at all. Huh. Yeah, there we go. He yeah. does not need advice. Nope. Yep, Come basic. <laughs> yeah, why would you have doubts? There you go. God, he used to do so much more damage. Blow them up. Kill every last one of them. There we go. Probably still reach the power, yeah. Devastating. Devastating. There we go. Lacking people train. There we go. Watch your fuels, burn two day. There we go. Yes. There you go. Okay, there the helicopters sound weird.
Damn, that didn't do as much as I wanted to. Stay out of my way. His random damage output is really annoying. Though. Because this could be anything from one shot to nothing. And I got a one shot. So that was a very bad luck roll for me. And this could be very little or a one shot. Okay, that was a mediocre then. Uh, yeah, I did finish Elden Ring. I was able to take out uh, Melania uh, by myself. It was glorious. Soloed her. It was a nightmare, but I succeeded. Uh, one shot or nope, not one shot. Uh, also, how are you doing, uh, uh, Noeta Yante? I have no idea how to say your name. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. All right, so one shot or do very little. Oh yeah, when I was fighting that, uh, God, that dragon was annoying. But yeah, uh, Plaxidus dragon, yeah. That guy took a, took a while to beat. I eventually took him down, but... Roll, tanks, roll! But yeah, I eventually, uh, took that dragon down. That was, that was a fun fight. Uh, Melania, though, was torture. There's, like... I think I went through five or six streams of just fighting her non-stop. It took forever. But I did eventually uh, take her down. It just took a very long time. You did help me find the dragon. It was... I don't know how you're expected to find a dragon without a guide or something. Like, I had to use a guide to actually make my way to Melania. And Melania wasn't really all that hidden compared to that stupid dragon. That dragon was just so obscenely hidden. It was crazy. But, uh, Placidus Axe, or... Placebo Dragon, I don't know how to say his name. He was, uh, he was, finding him was ridiculous, but it was fun finding him. Just because I thought the way he was hidden was just so absurd. <laughs> uh, but now I'm playing a lot of, uh, Advance Wars, and I'm looking forward to, uh, well, I did uh, start Sekiro, but then a bunch of other games came out that I wanted to get through. And I will, uh, I will go back to Sekiro at some point, but I'm also playing some, uh... I've also been playing, uh, some Cyberpunk as well. With mods to make it, you know, actually stable. And even then, I still got a T-Pose. But, uh, whenever, uh, whenever Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of that. Just because uh, I love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom looks like it's going to be great. I did get into an argument with a friend of mine, though, who claimed that uh, Breath of the Wild was uh, was uh, the same size as Elden Ring, which, I mean, I had to disagree with him on that. Elden Ring is way bigger than Breath of the Wild. Like, even if you only compare the surface world, uh... Elden Ring was bigger. Uh, I'd say that uh, that uh, Tears of the Kingdom might be bigger if you include the sky and underground area. 
but I need to actually play the game before I actually know. <laughs> But yeah, Elden Ring was definitely bigger than uh, Breath of the Wild. A lot more areas to explore, and there. I'm hoping that the underground areas in. Uh... Uh, actually, no, I should do it from there. I'm hoping the underground areas in uh, Tears of the Kingdom are going to be uh, really big as well. But the underground areas in uh, Elden Ring it was big enough that you could make make it you're like one game out of just that area and I do feel like going back to Elden Ring every once in a while but there's so many other games I want to play uh, for instance Advance Wars which I do have complaints about like uh, the complete lack of uh, online matchmaking Seriously, how can they not have online matchmaking? It's so sad. Uh, not ten. It was only it was only five. Uh, five push-ups, squats, and sit-ups. I haven't had uh, nearly as much cause to do that now, and I'm doing other workouts uh, off-stream as well. I still put on the weight suit every once in a while, though. Ah, oh, damn it. Jeez, I am not paying enough attention as I play this right now. <laughs> I I've been able to maintain that I've uh, lost about uh, 40 pounds, though. So right now the weight suit is more of a reminder of what I used to, you know, carry around with me everywhere. Let's see. Because I think I might actually lose this map, which is pathetic. Because it is this is extremely early game. <laughs> For the sequel, which just says I am not paying any attention to what I'm doing right now. I'm just basically playing like the computer. Which I really am, I guess, but still I should not be playing this garbage. Yeah, how am I actually going to get rid of the anti-air? <laughs> That's a bit of a problem I'm facing right now. But yeah, I am playing terribly right now. Yeah, I'm playing terribly right now. Uh, yeah, I need the extra turns to have my <laughs> my own anti-air heal up. But yeah, I got really bad rolls against the uh, flak this game. Probably replay this map again off stream and actually do a good job and try properly. Yeah, 
So now I'm just going to take advantage of the uh, defense bonus that uh, Max will get on this building. And I should still be able to uh, eke out a win. A shameful win, but a win. Okay, that actually was a really good luck roll on his part. Hmm. But yeah, this was a really bad uh, attempt on this level. Uh, there we go, let's do that. There we go. Bad one on that level. Shameful attempt there. There you go. Uh, no, let's that's do fine. It. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's actually be conservative for once with my forces. The only one I don't have to be conservative with is my fighter. But I got too used to using uh, Advanced Wars 1 Max, which has an extra 30% like, uh, power. actually going to try instead of just mindlessly charge ahead there we go let's do this so uh no wait uh what did you what have you been playing Copters do sound really weird. away the infantry. Because the only really useful units that I need to keep alive are the fighter and the uh, anti-airs. And even then I can sacrifice one anti-air. Straight for the coppers. Yeah, that was a good luck roll for him. There we go. Oh, that was neutral luck. I was hoping that'd be enough to kill him. Uh, 
We'll get the kill on that guy. And, uh, yeah, let's use a normal. You're gonna... <sighs> yep. And this will come back here. Destroy it. Gun. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Right, and then let's hope for it. For me to target that. Rushing stuff's what I do best. Well, let's see, all I really need is uh, him for to not get a good luck roll on my anti-air or my bomber which is annoying that I have to rely on luck when he uses his power but eh, that's black like that was a very bad luck roll I'm trying to remember what to, his luck has changed I think it's 60 30 on his suit got two really bad luck rolls actually and the computer cheats when he with his luck rolls. Or at least it did in the first Advance Wars. Oh, when it has 1 HP, the luck doesn't matter at all. Alright, what's the luck gonna be this time? Good or bad? Okay, that was really good luck. And that was just bad AI this time. With very good luck rolls. Terrible AI, great luck. <laughs> like, I cannot exaggerate how obscene that luck was for that AI. <laughs> like, infantry should do about uh, 7%, and that, that it, this guy got 30% damage. That, that, that is very good luck for the AI. for the uh, anti air to get on the bridge. Or the road. The road works too. There we go. Exactly 100. Benefits of mass. There we go. 
go, and there you go. Everything's destroyed. Forces are gone. Uh, huzzah! This is what happens when I actually pay attention to what I'm doing when I... I actually don't fail. But yeah, I will say, I do like all of the uh, other uh, COs in, uh, in Advance Wars 2 more than Flak. Flak is the one I like the least. The CR I probably played with the most, though, with uh, friends, was probably Adder. I just like the bonus movement and being able to pop his power off. There we go. Yes. And I, and I don't know Adder isn't actually a good CO. I just like to, I just like using him. <laughs> He's actually a pretty bad CO. <laughs> Not as bad as Flack. Black is so luck based, but the AI it cheats. It knows what percentage it's gonna get. Uh. Come on, Flack doesn't play. There we go. No. And now, uh, Flack, Flack, you are luck. Yeah. There we go. Huzzah. Well, come on. Uh, I like how the what upsets them is rudeness, but not dead people. <laughs> there you go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Victory here, celebration. Wait a second. There you go. The hidden lab map. Wait, that was on this map? I don't remember that. There we go. Yeah, you know, I do wish that with the hidden labs they added more than just Neo tanks. <laughs> like, it's not until uh, Dual Strike that they added, like, you know, pipe runners, which are terrible. But they added other things, and they, like, the Mega Tank, which, they, they should have just had a Heavy Tank in the, from the beginning. Like, it just stops at medium. Yeah. That was always kind of weird that they just stop at medium. And I didn't do good on this I'll one. defend this country with every muscle I'm made of. Yeah, that's terrible, A. If I got one more point, that would have been S. <laughs> There we go, more stuff. I'm not shopping at you. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this one now. I do not remember test of time. No. There you go. There you go. Let's let's take this one. There you go. Seven turn map. Preferably less than that. I will say I do like the design they gave Flack. Yeah, it should be Sammy's. Eh, I'd approve it. But yeah, this this one should be Sammy. Uh, also, if I remember right, they have a lander in the reef. I do 
not remember where everything is on this map. I remember a lot of it, but not all of it. Like, I remember the lander. Which probably says I played Advance Wars 2 too much. Oh my god, what? And now I realize why this looks different. This is on, this is on normal difficulty, not, not on the hard difficulty. Right. I completely forgot about that. I do not have hard difficulty unlocked yet. This is not my Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, hello, Manatee. How you doing? Don't worry, a lot of people have never played Advance Wars 2 before. A lot of people have never played Advance Wars 1. It makes me sad that more people haven't played this game series. Because I love this game series. It also makes me really sad that they don't have online matchmaking. God. Advance Wars 1 is great. Uh, Andy's actually a lot better in Advance Wars 2. Advance Wars 1, all he had was Hyper Repair. Hyper Upgrade is better in all ways. Yeah. But yeah, they needed matchmaking. Like, online matchmaking. Just... Steal what they used for Advance Wars by web. I don't like using Advance Wars by web because, like, it's basically chess by mail. Terrible. I'm not that patient. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it, it's because they, they. I mean, they had an extra year. I was about to say, like, they needed more time, but no, they had an extra goddamn year. Because they decided to delay everything because, you know, Blue Moon is meant to be an XP for Russia, and if we all remember what happened, well, what started last year. I will say, though, for the remake, it does play different. The AI is different. I mean, Advance Wars 1 AI still favors attacking APC at APCs at any and all opportunities. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Fog War's not bad. Yep, mm -hmm. there we go. I understand this. Yep, I, I know. It's got a lander. <laughs> Yeah, the, any kind of matchmaking. I would settle for like the complete brainlet matchmaking that's just based on who shows up first. That's how low my standards are. And they have nothing. Like my standards for matchmaking are low. And they just don't have it at all. Uh, yeah, they do have a uh, verse friends, so you can play against friends online. I don't know what the map restrictions are for uh, playing against friends yet, though. Which I I'm sure they have some kind of restrictions. They always have restrictions. But yeah, uh, playing these maps on fog though, it changes uh, the feel a lot. Because uh, the change they implemented is uh, really simple. It's uh, the enemy is also subject to fog. <laughs> this makes some of the uh, early missions uh, with fog uh, pretty easy because the enemy doesn't have that many recons. <laughs> like that. The the APC just got trapped on my artillery. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, there we go. So, one of these. There we go, artillery. Let's see, I'm trying to remember what uh, they have in the woods. But yeah, like, the enemy actually has to deal with uh, fog vision. Which they didn't have to do in the original game. <laughs> For one or two, actually. The only time they could be surprised is by uh, units in the woods. Now they actually have to establish vision. But yeah, for a uh, versus mode for Advanced Wars, I'm probably going to... I'm going to try to do a stream or something involving that. I'll probably just, like, you know, shotgun my... my friend code on the internet and just have... just battle against random people. But yeah, if I remember artillery vision, I think their vision is one. Yeah, it's one, so... This artillery is literally no threat with the new, uh... Well, not new. With enforcing vision requirements on the AI. The artillery is now useless. There we go. And, uh, that rocket can't actually see anybody. Hello, insert joke! How are you doing? There we go. I'd say, uh, yep, this should be the end of the map now. My, if my memory on all the enemy locations is right. <laughs> Should be done now. Actually, wait a minute. I just realized something. I think I still only have this listed as Advanced Wars and not Advanced Wars 2. Oh, well, whatever I like. <laughs> There we go. Lord Flack. There we go. Everything's been taken care of. <laughs> but yeah, this this is a. Uh, I do not remember this map on uh, normal mode. I only remember it on hard mode. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the lander pretty quickly. I uh. I, I've played. Uh, I've played before. Just uh, you know, not the remake. Oh yeah. And having the enemy subject to you know fog effects, uh, it, it does make the level a bit easier. <laughs> J just a bit once you take out every all all the other units because uh, you know. Yeah. The only ranged unit that has any vision is uh, missiles, and yeah. who uses missiles unless it's pre-deployed? Mm-hmm. There you go. No, it's because I remember where the enemy is. <laughs> or at the very least, I remembered where the enemy was on hard mode, not on normal mode. I can't wait to try out a Neo tank. There we go. Glorious victory. Magnificent victory. I'll probably be able to... I don't know, I'll probably be able to reach the factory mission before the end of the stream. But yeah, this is... This is I, I, I just love Advance Wars. I am not looking forward to grinding enough points to unlock all the maps, though. I'm probably not going to actually grind. I'm probably just going to play War Room to do that. There we go. And uh, what is this one? 
Okay, that's Lash, and for this one, it's... Oh, God, this... <laughs> I think I remember this map. Uh... If I remember this map, it's the one where you just build a couple of recons and you basically kneecap the enemy. I'm trying to remember what this map is, though. It's the funniest map ever. Uh, here we go. Roger. Uh, there we go. Black would not set a trap. Which is why he didn't. Mm. Uh, I love this tea. But there we go. Time to uh, cap the enemy HQ. I mean, that's all you ever do with Sammy, anyway. You're right. Black didn't set a trap for you. I did. Although I will say her navy is terrible. Huh? There you go. There you go, new black hole CEO. <laughs> yep, I, I do wish they did full voice though. I still do. I, I forgot about the grandma comment. No. Yep. Uh, yeah, you don't need to tell me about that. <laughs> Alright, let's start with that, and then we'll, uh, cruiser the sub. Dive the sub, and, uh, yeah. I was hoping I could do more damage with that, but no. I might be able to after I after I hit him with this. Two good luck rolls. <laughs> okay, that wasn't good enough luck. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. There we go. Got some luck damage. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's draw him out. No need to submerge the sub right now, just to shoot on the battleship. After all, the cruiser is blocking any actual threat from approaching the sub. And what's what, what's the actual battleship going to do? Nothing. There we go. Should be able to take care of this one. There we go, the Techno Lash music. Uh, yep, there we go, day seven. Flack is coming up with reinforcements. What? There we go. Uh, be honest, you had no idea, right? <laughs> there we go, tick tock, tick tock. Let's do this. You didn't need to tell you that. Roger that. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, then I, then I take that. Then it's gonna go down. All I gotta do is uh, take out the... Take out the one sub and uh, there's nothing to really worry about. Oh! Sub's gonna take itself out for me! Fantastic! There we go. Thank you, Lash, for uh, being reckless with your attacks. Go, take him out. There we go, that should have put Lash at least close to uh, using her power. There we go, now I can have the mech load into here, drop him off up here. Uh, yeah, just do that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if these guys move up. There we go. There we go, Terrain Tactics, which is actually a pretty good power, because it also gets rid of uh, terrain costs, and, and just having, if you can get a mech to attack from a mountain with Lash, with Terrain Tactics on, it is, it is really devastating. Thankfully, there's a lot of roads and bridges here, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. And that is the full value of Terrain Tactics being completely ignored and destroyed by the battleship. There we go. Everything's going down. Yep, have them all go forward. Let's uh, have him come out and start attacking now! Don't put yourself in attack range. You're in the range of a luck kill. There we 
There you go. Yes, attack the APC. It's a huge threat. It's nice knowing the AI still does stuff like that. Oh, wait, no, they came over here to... Yeah, sure. Infantry. Shoot at me. I think I'm gonna route them before I get a chance to capture the HQ, actually. Uh, as far as traps go, this isn't a very good one. Terrible trap, Lash. Terrible trap. Just uh, shoot him from her, from her own HQ. There we go. They're going to be destroyed. Devastating for Black Hole and all their people. Seven will be fine. Yeah, seven. That that's fine. Destroy them. I really just want to get a victory march to go off. Ten. <laughs> there you go, yeah, get ready. Now come on now, give me a victory march. I wanna use victory march. I know it's completely unnecessary, but I still want it. Oh, I, I, this one gives more value, so oh, it's not going to give it to me. This is disappointing. No super. Okay, whatever. It's Sammy. You, you have to win by capture. It's just not Sammy otherwise. There we go. Victory. Okay. Drink tea for victory. Or coffee, I don't judge. There we go. There we go. This is just a fake. Huzzah. Dummy. I prefer artificial malevolence. Powering down. I don't remember that line. Artificial mal malevolence. There you go. Uh. Huzzah! Victory on day seven. Flash. She's gonna be a handful. Huzzah! Another S. 
All right, now let's uh, go on to the uh, uh, map that's kind of a joke. It, it really is. Hey there. I, if it's the map, I think it is at least. It's a joke. I don't know, maybe they've improved the AI. They probably oh, haven't. Black, 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 black. Black cannons ready to go. Yep. There we go. Huzzah. Black gets a black I cannon. I promise it won't hurt this time. Much. There we go. Oh boy. No, he doesn't have any hair. Black actually doesn't have any hair at all. Black. There we go. Oh, well, we're gonna break the big cannon. Should be great. Oh, it's more than Baldy. No hair anywhere. I mean, look at his chest. No hair at all. Black has nothing. Gotta crush him. There we go. Huh. I wouldn't call him brave. I don't think he's smart enough to be afraid. And if he's not afraid, he can't be brave. Okay, yeah, it is this map. Where you just go in with recons early on and just, uh, you know, no. ruin everything. Huh. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if Annie can see that. He's not that smart. Well, uh, let's get up there. Come on now. Nah. Yeah, you know, I actually would like doing this map using Max, just because I want to take out that artillery using Max's, uh, that cannon using Max's artillery. I've got this. It's always fun being in level with Max artillery. Uh. Max rockets are less impressive. Oh, but you know, I would like a mod of this game where you replace Max artillery with just infantry chucking shells. It would at least explain why their range is so bad. There we go. There we go. Hardly any units. Just just build stuff. Yep. Come on now. No, God damn it. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just skipping it now. But yeah, all Flack has is that, uh, that one pace right here. So if you, uh, rush him with recons, you can just, you can just shut it down because the AI automatically just builds, uh, infantry first. Yeah, there you go. Not yet. Yeah, I don't think he can understand TV that well either. Fantastic. War is wasted on the young. Okay, I actually like that line read. <laughs> Andy. Yep, there we go. Yep, once every other day. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Can I bait it with this? Because I know the AI behaves differently. I'm not sure how differently it acts, but I know it's different. Oh, yeah. Can you smell that? It's the scent 
sort of impending doom. I do like that they had the in there. The sniff. Bit weird. There you go. Black hand is ready, and it's not good enough. Andy. There you go. Yep, she knows the weak point. It's the one part of it that's different. Good luck. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> uh. There we go. And the enemy will be taken care of. <laughs> he was doomed on day one. Not even... He, he was doomed. Well, uh, you know, he's always been doomed, actually. Alright, uh, uh... Should I save up for a Neo tank? Just for the absurdity. <laughs> but yeah, this this map is just it is stupid easy. Uh, I should probably uh I'll make a, an APC I guess. Because why not? There's no reason not to. But now I'm start trying to remember how this will affect the power ring. I don't remember what exactly you need for the power rank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, this map is a joke. Like, like it is, it is really a joke. It's one of the reasons why I find it so funny. Because you know the game doesn't intend for you to send out two recons. There's no way the developers were thinking, oh, they're just going to send two recons and take care of everything. <laughs> like, I don't even know what the speed requirement is for this map. Like, I, I've never actually figured out what it is. Who's he talking to? There you go, just, uh... Wait there. Basically, I'm just going to capture that one place so that, uh... <laughs> like, like, seriously, Flex starts with two properties. <laughs> like, he should have all of these <laughs> for th this map to make any sense. Because then it could at least be a struggle. Because, oh, well, you can't really attack that base, then. Instead, they just... <laughs> you, you can just recon rush them. <laughs> like, it, it, it's a, it's a joke. <laughs> this map is such a joke. And you know what? I'm going to try to make sure Flack has no properties by the time I beat this level. And I'm not going to slow down anything. I'm just going to go, go full speed. This map is truly the greatest map ever made. 
who cares what happens to that uh, that recon? It's gonna get shot, lose half its health. It'll never die because this massive death cannon is not designed for killing. Yeah, sure. There you go. Neo tank. Yeah. Why is it that we have medium tanks but no heavy tanks? Like it's a terrible naming convention. Tanks, medium tanks, neo tank. Or in Advance Wars 1, just, just there's just nothing beyond the medium tank. Heavy? What's that? There's no such thing as heavy tanks. That's the fever dream of a madman. Oh no, it did 50% damage to me. Emotionally crippling. There you go. There you go, I've captured all properties. Well, no, I've captured all properties that Flack had. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, this is such a stupid mission. <laughs> this is such a stupid mission. <laughs> uh. So, the bar rank is probably going to be low. <laughs> Since I only destroyed 50% of his uh, unit's value in one turn. I think. I'm trying to remember what the requirement is for power. There we go. Max showed up because he didn't have faith. <laughs> Pathetic. Max believes in Andy less than he believes in Flack. Nice work, kid. Very insulting. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Oh no. Commander. Huzzah. Well, jeez, no one ordered you to broadcast it to the entire world, soldier. Huzzah. Yeah. Mm. Be sure to drink something. Don't let yourself get uh. thirsty. I personally prefer tea. And for once, I actually took the time to prepare some. I'm not used to being that prepared. <laughs> Huzzah! Max is a Max is a hook. I did it! We won! There we go. <laughs> I better get a perfect score for that. Now, uh. so at some point, I'm gonna look up what they actually expect for, like you know, what they expect for this map. Because I've, I don't think I've ever gone, like, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, lost any points on speed for that map. Never lost points for speed. There you go, liberation. God, I forgot how fast the orange star part of this was. Or maybe I'm older and less stupid. That's, it's probably that. There you go. Flag, flag, flag. You seem to be having a rough day. Yeah, I, I played with Adder the most when I played against other people. I played with Adder a lot when I played against other people, actually. I just like the extra speed, and uh, he wasn't good enough that I could really use uh, any day-to-day -day stuff to my advantage. I like that. Huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Invade Gold Comet. Let Hatchy, not Hatchy, Sensei, 
How do I call him Hatchy? Wait, wait, Hatchy, I think, was the name originally, and now it's Sensei. I think. Leave off, Black. Adder is the king of low tier. But the, the weird thing is, uh, some some CEOs in low tier do better at higher tiers. <laughs> like, uh, I do not remember the guy's name. But he's basically uh, the guy who has increased attack but decreased defense. He does terrible in low tier because everyone in low tier, uh, they get they get movement boost. <laughs> if he's against an enemy CEO who doesn't have movement boost, he can still be dangerous. But yeah, Adder is the king of low tier. <laughs> and the uh, king of high tier is uh, Sturm or Sturm or Hatchet. <laughs> Hatchy is just... It, it's fun to play him because he is obviously broken. But, but he's just stupid broken. <laughs> Similar to Sturm. So now let's see, what is this map like again? I haven't really gotten to use anyone's powers. But yeah, I think I'll just use, uh... Is there an airport on this map? Whatever, I haven't gotten to use hey. Max enough. I want to use Max. I don't think he's best for this level, but eh, whatever. Let's finish Orange Star off. And then I'm not sure what we'll do after that. Yeah, there is an airport. Here. There you go. Let's do this. Uh, let's do it. Alright, let's see how quickly I can do this. Just want to get through the airport quickly. Well, actually, I'll probably stop here first and then do the airport. There we go. What is he starting up? Really? Come on, Flack, you can do better than that. There we go. Pretty uncool. There we go. What? Yeah. Just break the pipe. Yeah, as always, it's all about APCs. <laughs> there we go. Gonna have to take the seam out. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I probably should have taken the airport first. I could have done that in a way more optimized way, but I'm not going to restart the turn. <laughs> I could definitely do that in a way more optimized way, though. There we go. I feel like the order they're constructing things has changed.
go and uh, now I'm gonna do something I hate doing. I'm going to uh, actually no, I can build one infantry and then I'm base skipping. Yeah, I probably should have gone for the airport first. <laughs> oh well. Bringing out missiles already. Huh. Yeah. Bad luck roll. Yeah, neutral luck. Remember to do that. Lucky roll. Lucky roll. There we go. Flack is not utilizing his factory properly. There we go. Good. Target the APC. That's what I wanted you to do.
Huzzah. But yeah, Max's uh, tanks are so much weaker now compared to Advance Wars 1. Which, you know, fair. Advance Wars 1 was a little much. Eh. Why not? Might get might get a lucky uh lucky roll. I did not get a lucky roll. But yeah, I did not move on the airport fast enough. I should have gone towards it faster. My fault for going out in such a lackadaisical manner. Yep, there we go. Waste your time on that. Oh, they actually moved the infantry out of the way so I could go tank first. Okay. I didn't think yeah I would be that smart. Yeah, I wouldn't have been that smart in the first game. In the original. Come on now. She's still holding on. Nice job. Go for another one.
But yeah, I should have gone for the airport earlier. Forgot when they had the missile come out. Uh, they brought out the rockets now. But yeah, they do have a set order that they have things come out of the factory. I think it rotates every 20 days or something like that. It's hard to remember. <laughs> there we go, that's what I needed them to do. Finally make a mistake. It was a mistake like that. A beautiful mistake. We'll get this. There we go. We're gonna lose that area, but it doesn't really matter. All that matters is the pipe scene. Let's get these guys down. And we'll get rid of the missiles next turn. Uh, what's my income? Uh, yep, and then next term I can make the bomber and then I can uh, take care of it. Fantastic. There we go, is he gonna. Oh, nope, he's not using his power. Well, that's his mistake. Oh, I'm gonna lose that infantry though. Very sad. Emotionally crippling, even. Lucky roll. Ah, no luck. All right, let's uh, let's just uh, let's just make this guy irrelevant. Yeah, there you go. Now we can just uh, make a max bomber and then uh, take care of everything next turn. I'd say I did this map pretty sloppy, but eh. Doesn't need to be beautiful. There we go. Now I'm going to take a little bit of damage from the missile. And then I can uh, finally use a super power, because I don't think I've actually used a super yet. I've seen supers used against me. Why think when you can fight? Barbaric blow. There we go. Another barbaric blow is coming against me. Uh, shouldn't be in a position where that can actually do anything. I'll never recover from this. I'm doomed! 
Didn't even shoot. Okay. What's the luck roll on it? Oh! Well, I probably didn't need a good or bad luck roll for that one, actually. What's the luck roll gonna be? Could get an extra 60. Ooh, that was a really good luck roll. A normal tank doing that to a medium? That is a devastating luck roll. Okay, that time he did literally nothing. <laughs> there we go. Dead tank. Could have base blocked you. Terrible decision, AI. Now to uh, make my technique slightly less atrocious. Because my technique is going to be bad. But, uh, yep, victory now. Unless they change the damage system for the pipes, which would actually be pretty good if they did it so it forces you to at least attack twice. There we go. There you go, dead pipe. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, the enemy lost despite having a massive uh, soldier and material advantage. Uh, there you go, victory. Orange Star has been liberated. There we go. Glorious victory has been obtained. And there we go. In invasions have happened everywhere. Huh. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to doing uh, Green Earth, because I do like the Green Earth maps. Those ones were fun. Yes. I might be thinking of hard mode again. <laughs> it's been a while since I played the normal mode. <laughs> I've completely forgot what it's like. What? Like, I forgot that the first three maps of normal mode were tutorial. It should have been obvious. Of course it's tutorial, but I just kind of forgot that. <laughs> uh, but there we go. I, I, I do love Advance Wars. It is it is great. Uh, Flack, was, uh, Flack is the bottom tier, though. And this is hey. obviously the simplest factory mission. I mean, just basically capture, airport, build, bomber, win. And I could have definitely beaten this a few turns earlier if I uh, went for the airport first instead of the base. But I, I just wanted to get the base. But yeah, there we go. Victory has happened. Uh, my technique is probably low, though. Power is also probably low, or at least it should be. Yeah, that's way too high a score. I do not deserve a score that high. I mean, I basically did not care about technique at all. I just, I knew what I was doing. But yeah, power, if I remember, it's based on the uh, money value of the units you destroy in one turn. And it's like, you don't really need to care about destroying enemy units on this one. Welcome. There you go. I can enlist Flak and then never use him because why would you? Look who's here. Like, he's just bad now. And I think that's not even a fair way to describe him. He's worse than this bad now. Terrible. There we go, evil Santa. Red! Red! Where are you? Hey now, I'm right here. It's all go. commotion, Olaf. Okay, why can't they have the entire game like this, where it's like all of the lines are voiced? Gah. I keep making this complaint. And now he doesn't speak at all. Huh? Very sad. I, I like how he doesn't remember. <laughs> he was the only one who was doing anything about it in Bloom, and he doesn't remember. Ah, uh, there we go. T. Beautiful, beautiful T. Yep, L losing land. Sir, reporting 
for duty, sir. There we go. The broken character is here. Um, There's a small course, child. Sir. Today is the very first day of my posting to headquarters. I do like that Advance Wars employs child soldiers. Very, very good. They will not discriminate on the basis of age. If you are a child, they will put you in command. They'll probably also put you on the front line. I mean, come on, if they're, if they're gonna let you command troops, they, they must put them on the front line. Sir, yes, sir. There we go. Howdy there. Oh yeah, Colin is, is broken. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Sir, yes, sir. You know, uh, in Dual Strike, they should have changed Colin's power, since the excuse for his units being weak is that he's inexperienced. For Advance Wars 2, they should have, uh, or for Advance Wars Dual Strike, they should have made his units stronger. But they should have given, like, made his sister inexperienced, then, and have her just take over his power. That would have been way better instead of having him be like, I don't remember anything. Reteach me. Uh, yes, sir. There you go. Yeah. Right behind you, guys. There you go. Now I'm trying to remember if Colin has the mission where it's uh, where you build nothing and win. Ah, oh, Sonia. What good timing. I can't seem to find my other son. Really? They're gonna voice that line. <laughs> there you go. But why would they voice the sock line? <laughs> of course. Yes, sir. Za. Gold Comet Troop. To you, sir. To you. Hostile forces. Yes, we must consider that. Sensei's voice does not sound nearly as old as it should. Sensei? Can't an old man drop it and check up on a former student, Kanbei? There you go. I expected him to sound older. But his voice isn't that bad. It makes me wish he had more talking though. Yes. That applies to all of them, really. <laughs> yeah, Sensei also rules the infantry. His infantry is like, he has better infantry than Sammy, if you ignore the capture speed. And he has the best battle copters. Preparations complete, Commander. There you go, they have female troops too. I do like Golden Comet's uh, helmets the most, though. They have the best helmets for their soldiers. <laughs> there we go. Defend your home. I'm not sure what which mission I'm going to do, but I think we can do one mission and then uh, it'll be the end. They'll do a call-in mission. Not Olaf's hometown. Is this the mission I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah, I remember this mission, too. This mission was fun. Let's see. Silas Scramble. Ooh. I kind of want to do this one, just because Sensei has the best music. He had the best music in the... in the original Advance Wars. Or at least I thought he had the best music. It was a bit jazzy. Yeah, we'll do Sensei's Return. Where it's just uh, infantry and battlecopters. That's all that matters. But let's see what let's see what Sensei's music is. That's what matters. Sensei's music. You'd say a bunch of other things, but no, it's Sensei's music. That's all that matters, and this will probably be the last uh, level I do this stream. Uh, sure. 
There we go. So much for adder time. I'm not sure if I like Adder's voice. Eh. There you go. T time to send hmm. in the old man. I think I'll take a crack at it. There we go. Crack it up, Sensei. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do like this map. And I think there's a difference between this map uh, and and the like. It's the same mission in hard mode, but I think there's an extra island or something. I'm trying to well, remember. Well, what have we here? Yeah, they've run out of beds. Huh? I have no reason to tell you anything, old man. <laughs> Voice the entire line. <laughs> uh. There we go. Let's do it. Oh, son. I don't like war. It's tiring. Keep, keep talking. Deliver that line pretty well, too. There you go. Little pointer. Yep, that's... That's what your airborne assault and, uh... Cop command is for. He needs more lines. Well, actually, no, he has more lines. They just voiced, like, you know, 10% of them. <laughs> he has all the lines he needs. Just let him speak. If I'm guessing Robbie uh, Draymond is the guy voicing that. Then you've got no hope of defeating me. He who laughs last laughs best. There we go. Hmm. He's a great orator. Oh, he's not the voice? Oh. I have no idea who voices this adder. Not Robbie Draymond, I guess. There you go. There you go. Okay, yeah. Is that a marimba? I think they have a marimba in there. Okay, yeah. Uh, I thought Grit had the best uh, theme remake, but I think it might be Senses. <laughs> Oh, Robbie Draymond is a, a, is a catchy? He did a good job as a catchy. Both as the detective prince and as uh, the batshit insane psychopath. Narcissist, and you know what? A catchy would be a good, uh, would be a good uh, adder. You, he would do a good voice. Not wait, not a catchy. Uh, Robbie Draymond, <laughs> the voice of a catchy would be a good, good one. Uh, and uh, might as well. But yeah, when I played against uh, friends, I probably used Adder the most. Uh, on Advance Wars by web and uh, and in person. Uh, when I was in uh, when I was in Boy Scouts, uh, we took long trips. Uh, cross country to you know do hiking camping all that stuff and I always uh, brought with me uh, uh, Game Boy Advance with Advance Wars or Advance Wars 2 
We never actually did it with dual strike. And we didn't like doing it with dual strike. We tried it once and uh, normal advance was better. We, we just passed around the Game Boy Advance. But yeah, I didn't do it on Advance Wars by web with friends. Yep. I think it's time to start uh, saving money and just pumping out battle copters. How much money am I pulling in? Only eight. Yeah. One more transport. Because why not? I'm not building any more transport copters. I have enough. Of them. Now I actually am just going to build battle copters until until the universe dies of heat death. I will say, uh, the remake is easier than the, uh, than the OG game. And the reason it's easier is pretty simple. There you go. Uh, it's that, uh, for Fog, uh, the AI is subject to, uh, Fog rules as well. They don't really need much more support for me. Thank you. There you go, that should be everything. Uh yeah, I'm going, not going to take out that infantry yet. I need that wall. The nonsense from Sensei's normal power is also great. Uh, it basically it means that you can be safe and worry about nothing on uh, technique rankings, really. HP max that would be about I think that'd be under 27,000 uh, it would be 24,000 of funds I think I think I have my math right 
I don't know why I'm doing math right now. But yeah, I think uh, 290 HP mechs together would be 2,400 you get. Because it would be 8, 8, you'd be getting basically 8 HP of a mech back in cost. There we go, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's shoot this guy. Now then, if I know, uh, Adder's build order, he should have a missile somewhere around here by now. And I should probably feel ashamed that I know that. And he has an infantry there as well. So yeah, one HP of a mech is uh, 300 gold. So if you combine two nine HP, that be you'd be getting eight HP back. And eight times three, 24. Uh, add an extra, you know, couple zeros to that, uh, 2,400. I'm doing too much math. There we go. Hmm. Is the space behind them open? Nope. Just take this guy out. But yeah, they do have an anti air that's going to be slightly annoying. But I should still be able to deal with all of this. After all, I don't think he has any other anti-air uh, anti units around. I should have built a mech earlier, though. Now I can just go uh, overly aggressive and drop a couple of infantry. Uh, so we should have missiles somewhere around here. So I should be safe about here. If I remember the AI behavior well enough. I might not. Also, they've changed the AI behavior. I should probably, you know, keep that in mind too. But yeah, 1 HP uh, infantry are useful. Very useful, because a 1 HP infantry uh, can stop an anti-air from attacking you, your, uh, your battle copy. There you go. Sacrifice 100 funds to protect uh, 9,000. Because, <laughs> you know, who cares if, uh, if a 1 HP infantry dies? What are you going to do? Leave him on a city for five turns to get him to full health? Hell no. They look like bananas.
How much damage? 33. Alright, let's... There we go, that's what I thought. To mech. God, I love Sensei's music. It's fantastic. Perfectly jazzy. Uh, let's take out his infantry before I uh, use that use that copter to scout. There we go, let's distract the enemy. I knew they had a missile. There we go, let's... I should actually make an actual tank. God, it feels dirty making a tank as Sensei. I should have just made another battle copter. I could have just set, had two of them attack the anti-air. That would have taken about uh, probably 60-70% of its health off. Probably more. Yeah, that, that tank was a waste of money. Total waste of money. And I get power charge too. It's win, win, win. But yeah, just <laughs> I am basically just sacking these three bananas. And they are bananas. I mean look at him. That that that's a flying banana. Yeah, but Sensei's theme is great. And that banana split. Let's see, I'm trying to remember what tier Sensei is in. I think he's A tier. It's hard to keep track. He's just so good. It's just unfair that he exists. Hydrate everybody. I don't care if it's water or whiskey. Hydrate. Well, I should care about that. Whiskey doesn't hydrate. It's just wonderful. I like that he didn't shoot on me. Just finish this guy off. And then we'll just, uh, you know, swarm in with battle copters and kill everybody. Go. 
Dang it, I can't base block him. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be able to. I'm not gonna use Sidewinder. That's a mistake. Okay, yep, uh, that's the move he should take. The obvious move he should take. Survive? Nope. Dead. But yeah, gotta remember where the missile is. Oh, God damn, I want you to capture. That's what I get for pressing A too quickly. Just make a banana and a mech. Because, you know, why not? A battle with me is a greater honor than you deserve! Actually, with that 8 HP battle cop is going to be in range Side of his anti air. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, I just put me. I put him in range, not out of range. Got it. Oh, he has two anti airs now. Terrifying. Let's be super. See what experience can do for you. Uh, let's see. Let's hear what uh, Sensei Super is going to sound like. Airborne assault. Sounds like he's speaking through a radio. Oh, 
Okay, this is nice. Ah, he moved it up, that's... as much as I'd like, but gotta weaken the anti-air a bit. to end it, but he has a great power theme. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, Adder built more anti-air than I expected him to. I mean, I've dealt with three AA guns. That's way more than Adder usually goes. Come on now. Doing that to me. There we go. Good. Survived. Serving as a wall for the others. That's all he's building? Sensei's theme is great. Best theme so far. Uh. Yeah, just go through there. These tanks aren't even good. Still devastating. And... Damage these guys. Should be enough to get a kill. Yep, there we go. 
Unless I get like the worst luck rolls twice, that should be enough, yeah. Fantastic. Destroyed. And that's everything, so, uh... There you go, just, just build some stuff. For the ring. Yes, fail at him. <laughs> God, his inventory is, his, his inventory makes her so good. Oof, that one's pain. Go. Shoot him. I have to do this one. It's sixty nine. 69%. It's beautiful. And there better be no luck involved, because I want it to stay 69. But yeah, there we go. Victory here. Beautiful, glorious sensei victory. Built upon hordes and hordes of infantry and mechs and battle copters. Come on, luck roll. Come on, give me a good luck roll. There we go, luck roll. Uh, there's no point in me to take that risk. Go. Gun him down. Since as polite as he guns out down his enemies, though, he waits for them to pick up a weapon first. There we go. This is magnificent. Beautiful. And I'm going to just capture his HQ if he doesn't just give up and die like a good boy. And of course, uh, building all these infantry for the technique. go. Should be a victory this turn. Now the question is, should I finish Golden Comet or Blue Moon first, though? Go for which factory mission first? <laughs> I just wanted to do Sensei because I like his theme. And I like his remix theme a lot, too. In fact, I'm going to say next stream, I'm going to start with the Sensei's theme play playing in the background. Because what else would you have playing in the background? There you go. Kill him. There we go.
Let's use the four. Just in case there's something hidden there. There is nothing hidden there. Beautiful. This was a glorious stream. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of the stream though. Just because, you know, it's late. But it has been fun playing this and I do have to say I love Sensei's, uh, Sensei's remix theme. It is absolutely fantastic. Glorious even. It is perfectly jazzy. And his power version is like, you know, electro swing jazz, which is wonderful. Glorious! <sighs> Truly perfect. But there we go. Sensei won. And now we change to just infinitely inferior music. Because let's face it, this is not Sensei's theme. Inferior you music. You are victorious. Um, I am. Oh, that's nice. There you go. The first sign of senile sensei that we see in Dual Strike. Mm -hmm. I really don't like that they made him senile in Dual Strike, or at least he acted senile. Here he still comes off as kind of dangerous and badass. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Hot springs are nice, though. I did visit them while I was in Japan. You should go in the morning. There's fewer people. There you go. Victory! After sending battle copter after battle copter into anti-air, because, you know... Uh -huh. If you have two sensei battle coppers, you can basically win that engagement. Huh? He, he's still unbeatable. Sensei is dangerous. His battle copters are a nightmare to fight. <laughs> uh, also, his infantry and mechs are devastating. Sensei in general is just. I uh, still have a trick or two up my sleeve. There you go. Oh, I should have made a few more infantry before I killed their last unit. I could have been perfect. I was three points away from perfection. Three! Oh, that is a failure as far as I'm concerned. That was a failure? Three points away from perfection. Hey it's Sensei. You should always be perfect with Sensei. Look who's here. There you go. Uh, anyway, that's going to be the end of the stream today. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, should I, uh, raid somebody? I don't know. I actually really haven't thought about it. Uh, let's see, uh, who else is, uh, playing Advanced Wars right now. Because, uh, that's what matters to me. Let's see. Uh, let's find, uh, someone who's, uh, doing Advanced Wars. And we'll raid them because, you know, actually Black Hole Rising. Anyone doing Black Hole Rising specifically? Uh, no, just Advance Wars. Let's see who we can, uh, help out. And let's see, is anyone starting soon? Recently started. There we go. Someone started a short while ago. Let's, uh, let's raid Fake Skull Kid. No idea who he is, but I figure why not. There we go. Fake Skull Kid. We'll, we'll raid him. Uh, we can say whatever you want. There we go. Anyway. If anyone wants to join me in that, it'll be great. Because I figure we might as well. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. Until next time, bye.